space. What moon? Third phase moon, Blake Cousins here. Uh, going over footage that was just pointed out to me today, right here at third phase. I reached out to the poster that posted this video. Turns out his friend captured this. What you're looking at is something unexplained. We got Ray on the phone with us. Hey, thanks for joining us right here at third phase, Ray. Thank you. All right, Ray, um, you just gave us cold call and we're going over your video or your friend's video. Tell me uh, the circumstances behind this and how long ago was this taken? And has anybody else seen this before besides yourself? Um, this video is about, I want to say five years old. And my friend went to visit his dad in uh, Washington State. And as he was coming home here to Los Angeles, he noticed the cloud formation uh, over the mountains, I guess, in Washington, Oregon. But anyway, he took a video of it, and he was showing me the video. And as I was watching the video, I said, well, what's that flying by? And he says, what are you talking about? And I said, well, look at the top of the video. He didn't even know it was there. Wow. You know, it's, it's, um, it's quite fast. It's kind of funny that he didn't even notice this thing after he was showing you uh, the video, t saying, hey, take a look at this cloud. Good eye there, Ray. What did he think about that after when he pointed it out to him? Well, he said, well, we ought to send that to the, the officials, you know, like the military or something, you know. Absolutely. He thought it was a rocket. I told him, I said, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like an airplane. You know, there's, I didn't see any wings, but it was clipping along pretty good. You know, that is uh, definitely faster than any airplane leaving a, any kind of trail behind. Rocket, wow, that's a, a very, very scary thought. It's just quite strange. I want to get everybody's uh, opinion on this and what they think it is. You know what? We're uh, we're going to keep this line public. We're going to let uh, the people know. Maybe the FAA's got an answer for this. Some kind of basically close encounter. Ray, um, are you still in contact with your friend? Could you um, try and reach out to him so we could get his uh, opinion on what he captured and sure like to collaborate on this? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in over two years now, so um, it's going to be probably difficult to get a hold of him. All right, Ray, what, what was the gentleman's name that captured this? Okay, his name was Thomas Dawkins Jr. Wow, we are, we're, uh, we're going to zoom in on this, get some uh, closer looks on this. Ray, so your opinion, what's your opinion on this? I, I think it could be reverse alien technology we're looking at right here. I don't know. I just, I really don't know. I mean, I can't identify it is all I can say. Wow, Ray, we uh, appreciate you uh, sharing this footage with us. Uh, you know, uh, we just spoke within minutes of each other. That's how uh, fast we get the word out at Third Phase of Moon. How did you come across Third Phase? It was on YouTube, and I just started watching the videos and stuff. I started a new hobby. I want to start taking detailed images of the moon. Um, and... I just came across your site and figured, well, I'll share this video with you. See wow. what happened. Hey, Ray, uh, thanks. We got some uh, truck activity outside. I appreciate you uh, joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. Uh, we look forward to posting this. Uh, keep your eyes on the skies, Ray. You too. All right. That was uh, Ray submitting some incredible footage. Let's uh, move along to some more footage that just came in via NASA, the ISS. Take a look at this. The process of being removed from the outside of the Zvezda service module. Just going over NASA's new upload as we always go over it with a fine tooth comb. We noticed Expedition 44, Commander Ganada Padaka and Flight Engineer Mikhail Kenrenko captured something quite interesting. Take a look at this very closely. Did you see it? It looks like a fleet of UFOs or some kind of close debris dangerously close to the space station. Then all of a sudden NASA cuts the feed as usual. The link is below. You could watch it yourself and notice when something unusual comes into frame all the time, NASA seems to just want to cut the feed. You know why? Because they're lying to us. They don't want to tell us the truth that we're, we're not alone in the universe, people. Wow. The social media is waking up, I gotta say. It's quite rampant right here at Third Phase of the Moon. We got Brent Cousins. I wanna get his opinion on what's going on, but just yesterday we were sharing a lot of videos that just came in 
pictures, photos, everybody could share it right on our third phase of moon Facebook site. That's happening live right now, all the time, 24 seven. Third phase of moon YouTube, exclusive real time interviews that we wanna share. That's right, Blake. August 10th, 2015, we received an email today from Ray and he reached out to us and he gave us a cold call and that's how things are done. And what we're looking at right now is I'm thinking it wasn't mentioned in the conversation, but I'm thinking it's more harp. Harps involved, this could be a mechanism, a sort of weapon that's energizing this harp cloud as we see. Well, right away, Brent, it is absolutely fantastic. It's been out for five years. I think it just got about 200 views over uh, that time. And that, I think, is a crime in itself. This needs to be watched. The FAA, the military, what happened five years ago? Now, that's a, that's a big question because if harps involved, the high-frequency active auroral research program if this is what's going on and they're doing flybys next to passenger airliners, now this is dangerous. It's caught on video. The original link's there. Now, let's get into this uh, ISS that, again, we just broke this morning. We saw it right away when, uh, it was right at the end of the video. NASA cuts the feed as usual. Brent, what's your thoughts on this? 26 to 15,000 miles per hour. These things are projectiles, deadly killers that the International Space Station talk about all the time is basically their worst enemy. These things seem to be traveling at the speed of the space station. Stalking is what I'm seeing here. NASA usually, more likely than not, usually shuts down cameras, especially when some sort of unidentified flying object, in this case multiple flying objects, are crossing the lens. Immediately they shut down the camera feed. Obvious NASA, come on guys, just give it up. Thumbs up for that, give it up NASA. Everybody keep your eyes on the skies, Blake Cousins. We'll see everybody again next time. Disconnecting the antenna from its location on the. Um, at least not for the, not on this camera. So you can leave it open. You can leave it on. Traveling uh, in the void of space, 250 miles over the South Pacific. Various connectors on uh, the old cable that was cut for a, uh, an obsolete uh, communications antenna that is in the process of being removed from the outside of the Zvezda service module. 
moved quickly outside uh, after their workstation, outside of the hatchway to uh, the pier's docking compartment. A device is called gap spanners that uh, are designed to facilitate the movements of cosmonauts outside of the Russian segment of the station during spacewalks.